Na ma te emoji. We are experiencing quite a good number of cancellation. Um, especially coming closer to, to the date of the retreat this next weekend. Uh, and we have noticed also with other events that going closer to, to, the, to the date of people start to write up that they have problems, that they are not able to attend anymore. Yeah. And uh, we were wondering, it's really that some difficulty come up or some resistance can come up for us when the moment gets close. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's not, a, it's not an uncommon uh, phenomenon. I've been aware of this for many years, like that. That um, what happens is really that the mind is very afraid. It is sensing some threat, a fear that it's going to get uprooted or destroyed or something like this. And, um, and so this fear comes and it is believed. Now, uh, what I say is you are not the mind. We are not the mind. Satsang is going to reveal this to you, that you are not the mind, and the mind doesn't like that. You see? You are not the mind, but you are in collusion with the mind. You are consciousness. And mind is really an aspect of yourself through which diversity uh, is uh, felt and experienced. And diversity uh, is not in itself anything bad at all. I think where the difficulty is, is that consciousness has forgotten its um, original beauty and perfectness and is identifying itself with its projections, a state of identity with the body-mind conditioning. And most human beings are living by the standard of this programming, that we are the body-mind. And we are not so conscious uh, about it, um, but when something comes, even amongst people who have been searching, searching, I would say, for truth for a very long time. Uh, then if that search, mm. the opportunity to really address that search and to bring it to a, a finality of seeing, to some clarity, some resistance is going to come. Because the consciousness has uh, adapted itself into the belief that it is a person. And the person... Um, uh, is really a ghost. It's not true. It is like a costume that consciousness wears for the duration of this uh, body. And this fear uh, prevents us from going beyond into the real discovery of our timeless, eternal nature and being. You see? So when it comes up to this, it's very. This is in fact a great. Uh, this great evidence of this, you see, uh, if the retreat is two months away, oh, hundreds of people are booking. They don't want to miss it. But as the time draws close, you see, and they can feel the heat, <laughs> so to speak. Whereas the mind has created this heat. Actually, there's no heat. There's, if there's a burning, there's going to be the burning away of delusion. And the great news is the opportunity of discovering what is... Uh, completely pure, you see. But it's the mind in the mind, the personalized, distorted mind, that this delusion can grow, that uh, you identify as the mind, and so it feels like the mind is under threat, so you are under threat, which is complete nonsense. You are not under threat. For the first time, perhaps, you're really coming into the, the open terrain of real freedom. And fear is coming from the mind. Most people don't know the difference between the mind and their true self. We are thinking that we are the mind, but we are the pure consciousness. If you are the mind, you will come to an end, because mind is not stable. The mind is always changing. When we think of ourself also, it seems like there is a continuity. And this sense of continuity is based upon our true being, which is unbroken. But this beingness is mixed with the identity, the conditioning that happened to us in this form. And we are believing in this conditioning. And it's out of this belief that we are the conditioned self that fears come. And so my encouragement to everybody, of course, you are free to cancel. I just don't believe you. 
You see, I don't believe you. I think you are running, or rather your mind is running. You don't know the difference. And uh, so you want to give your ticket away. And there's no shortage of people to take them. We are not having a problem with that. But I just want to remind you that uh, this is how easily you are tricked out of your freedom. Because if you are going to believe your mind every time resistance come, you are going to be in a, in a relationship, a long-standing relationship of avoidance and suffering. And I don't like to see that. So uh, it's giving you a chance again to, to really look and to know that these type of um, attacks from the ego, they are going to be frequent. And if you believe them, they will gradually uh, change your mind to a fearful and defensive, doubtful and judgmental state. I don't like to see that. So ponder over these things that I'm saying. The very fact that there is this resistance in many people to come is the very sign and the evidence of the potency of satsang, the power of satsang. If there was not this power to really bring you out of the state of delusion, then it, perhaps you'd be quite excited up to the last moment to come. You see, the very fact that there is this uh, re resistance is a sign that there is something here to discover. And the mind is on the run. The egoic mind is on the run. The egoic mind is on the run because, uh, I cannot say because, it's, 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 it's foolishness, really. And we are prone to listen to these uh, feelings because they feel unpleasant in the body. Some fear comes, your legs start to feel heavy, you start to get headache, and all of these things will come. But some people will not be daunted by that. They'll push on through this and come home fully to their freedom. So I hope you are one of them. And so don't believe these things. You must defeat this type of negative conditioning, this type of resistance, which is only momentary. And it's momentary for as long as you persist in uh, holding on to some doubt about yourself, then these delusions, these fears, these doubts, they will grow. That is how the mind perpetuates uh, itself by doubt, by fear, insecurities, by threats, which it itself creates and suffer from. So you are the self, you are not the mind. So it's, it's time now to snap out of it. Don't sell your ticket. Don't give it away even. Make use of it. Secure your freedom. But if not, somebody else will come and take your place. So this is my message today. I hope to see you, whoever you are, who get this message, you come and, uh, and come and sit in this beautiful opportunity. I feel every human being uh, is most fortunate to, to take this opportunity. So that's it for now. That's my message to you. Shalom.